Oh my gosh! Yeah, yeah. There we go. It's good. What's up, good people, aka winners? That's all we do. Hey, that's what we do. Hey, 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 hey. I'm coming to you with another video. Coming to you with another video. Thank you. Hey, cabbage patch. Oh, no. cabbage patch. <laughs> what y'all know about that? Okay, guess what, baby, baby? I'm back and I'm trying not to spill everything. Oh, I'm trying. All right, what's up, guys? So I'm super excited because I'm filming again. Hello, how you doing? Oh, I was gonna start off like this too. Hey, girl. How you doing? <laughs> this time I decided to have one eye done because I wanted to make sure it was gonna like, you know, be cool. I was gonna come to you guys with this video on the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus Nude Glow Color Correcting Skin Tint. But girl, I didn't wanna do that today because I thought of doing this eye look that would match. It's actually inspired by some earrings I'm gonna wear today. And I decided to wear a shirt that had the earring color. You you guys will see at the end. So anyway, it was inspired by those earrings. So I was like, well, since we doing this and we going here and we going there and we doing all of this, um, I'm not about to try a foundation that may not work. So I figure if I have one eye already done plus testing it out to see if it's gonna give what it needs to give for you guys, I figure if I go through the face quickly and I list everything in its, the description box, we'll go quicker. There are a couple of palettes. Y'all know my tried and true Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette. I do not know if this is still around, but I am gonna give you step by step on this eye because it may seem a little bit harder than what it looks, okay? So I'm here to tell you, you got this girl. And remember, you can always take makeup off and start again. If at first you don't succeed try try again however many times you're trying is it's good okay so this is the um ring the alarm palette right here this is my second one because y'all know my other one it like this one is gone gone so this is the color mugshot i use this as a crease color almost every time i do my makeup and so that's i decided to do that so that i can make this color more of a natural color now you can go with a navy blue you can go with a deeper blue you can go with a deeper brown if you want but i still I didn't even take the crease uh that color in the crease I didn't even take it all the way over because I wanted this to be so natural even though it's a pop of color I didn't want it to feel like it's doing too much I wanted it to be like a daytime light pop of color I didn't even realize that I had this palette but it is an LA girl palette it is called main stage a desert dream eyeshadow palette that is what it looks like so this is the color that I use today right here this is my first time ever using this palette I love that it has a huge mirror on it if you decide to buy anything from LA Girl Cosmetics, I do have a coupon code. It is C-Key and the number 10, right after C-Key. And I believe you get 10% off. But LA Girl is also sold at um, maybe your local beauty supply. I know my beauty supply has it. And I do believe Ulta has it. And I can't remember who else has it. But if you are familiar with them, girl, go get you one because it's not bad at all. Before we get started, just in case I forget to mention it, I am using my Ardell lashes in the number 213 right there. You guys know these are my favorite lashes. I just clip the ends a little bit to customize them. So if you guys ever have a problem with lashes not working out for your good, baby, just clip them a little bit so that they fit you perfectly, all right? And then this is my second purchase. This is the One Size by Patrick Star Liquid Eyeliner. I do believe they have a pencil one, but this one is the Point Made Liquid Eyeliner, okay? And the point is made that it is banging. I think my eyelash just stuck a little. What, what are we doing? And then the other eyeshadow palette I'm using, which this one is discontinued. And let me tell you this, if you do not have all the products that I have, find something that's closest to what I am using. The colors that work for your skin, right? A transition color that works for you that you love. You do not have to use exactly what I'm using. You can use something similar, all right? So then now on the brow bone, and this kind of sucks because this is one of my favorite palettes for this very reason right here this is the morphe 3502 but i have been told i went to the more i see see how that messed me up i went to the morphe store and i was like what's good what's happening can you explain please you got some explaining to do they said it's discontinued so i'm probably gonna go to mac and see if saddle is similar right so yeah that's just a bummer but anyway i am using the p louise base this one is in number 
Number five, I do own four, five, and six. Six is more my skin tone. So today I'm using five, which is a little brighter, which made the blue pop a little bit more, okay? I'm just using a brush. I think this is an Ofra brush. Yep, it's Ofra 20 makeup brush. And I just, first of all, wipe off your eye to make sure that you don't have any oil or anything underneath there, get that off, okay? And then just pat this baby on. Pat and brush a little bit, but you don't have to do it like real hard. Cause I don't want it to like, I don't necessarily want to blend it into my skin, if, if you will. Two reasons why I'm doing this. Number one, I want to mute out the discoloration on my lid. I usually use concealer for that, but when I'm using a color that I want to pop and I want it to stay all day, I use the P. Louise base. I think that sometimes people are scared to wear eyeshadows because they feel like the eyeshadow will just overpower everything and it'll be too bright. So this is a way that you can tone it down and don't don't be scared. If you are new to the channel, do not forget to join the fan band by subscribing and please like, share, comment, and all that good stuff because it helps the channel out. I upload, I try to do once a week, but at the at the least I'll do every other week, okay? Because, you know, I do have some other businesses and so I'm kind of like busy with it. But I tell you that if you follow me on Instagram, CK underscore beauty or TikTok, I am CK. I post a little bit more frequently on there because it's easier for me to just grab my phone, do content, you know, not pull out a camera and all that good stuff. So it's a little more frequent over there. And sometimes I try to save it and put it on the stories over here. So there's more than one place to find me. All right. So I am going to pat that with my finger. I'm gonna go into this palette that I told you guys about. The color is Mug Shot. Hey, diggy diggy. And I am using the Morphe E22 brush. I do not know if this still exists because every time I feel like I tell y'all stuff that I really, really love, I feel like they end up discontinuing it. Like why? I am literally putting this in the crease right there like so. If hope y'all can see that. And then I'm bringing it like halfway right here. I should have done this side first and then, cause I feel like I'm more confident on the right side. But anyway, like I just, I don't know, more dominant on that side. We're blending that in, do circular motions. And here's the trick too. I'm gonna put a little bit more. And I just dab it. To get it perfect in the crease, I literally just place it right Right here in that socket you see right there and then I just start blending in circular motions and windshield wiper motions so you know windshield wipers like that and then I just do circular motions along with the windshield the the key to wearing eyeshadow literally is blending. Seriously. Once you get that down, you can do anything. You can do this color in blue. You can do it in purple. You can do it in yellow. You can do whatever you want. I have semi hooded lids, not really, but semi. And so I feel like when I use this base, it gives me a little more lasting time. And that's what I wanted today. And it makes it pop a little more. So that's why I did the base versus the concealer. And so then I just place it with this brush and I go a little bit above my crease because I have semi hooded lids. And this brush is from Stella. They sent this to me. I don't know if it was Friends Beauty. I think it was Friends Beauty that sent me this, this uh, brush. But anyway, it's a Stelazi brush. I don't even know what the number is, but just get you a brush that has like a flat head to it where you can just pat it and apply it. And then I'm simply taking this blue eyeshadow. I need to see. I don't know if y'all can still see, but I'm taking this blue eyeshadow and I'm bringing it like right over here. I'm not really taking it to the end of my eye. I'm just putting it right under where I put that, uh, that brown. And you you can place it where you want to. If you want it over the whole entire lid, if you want to go up higher, it's up to you. It, it really goes according to your eye shape and the look that you're going for as well. Now, the reason that I go a little bit higher than my crease is because I have semi hooded lids and I want you to be able to see it. You know what I'm saying? I don't want you to see it just when I close my eyes. Like when I open my eyes, I want you to be able to see it. I feel like this eye is doing a little bit different right here. You see how you can see through a little bit? I don't feel like it did me like that over here. Anyway, I might need to put a little more stuff on there. So then I'm taking a brush. This really has nothing on it. I'm just taking this to kind of get rid of that harsh line, even around here. There's absolutely nothing on here. And what was on there from my other eye, I'm just, I wiped it off on a paper towel and I'm just going around to blend it out. You see? just to blend it out and take that brown and just kinda let it fade out around it, if that makes sense. You know what I'm gonna do though? I don't usually do this, but y'all bear with me because I feel like, the, and see, I like to do this stuff on camera because this didn't happen on the other eye and I wanna show y'all things and just try things myself. That's the thing about makeup, just try it out, see how it works. I'm actually gonna put a little bit more of that um, P. Louise right here to fill that in. I don't know if that's gonna work, but we are gonna see. I'm just not afraid to try things, okay? And that's the thing I, I 
think about makeup that you gotta get in your head if you're a little bit scared of stuff, you gotta try stuff. If it don't work out, I could always wipe this off and start over. I think it should be fine. See, it filled it in. Baby, baby, hey, baby, baby, hey, baby, baby. See, just try it, girl. That filled that space in because it was like a little gap and I did not like that. Okay, we happy now. I could have put a little more over here too, but I don't want to just cake it on. And then I'm going to go into that brow bone highlight that I told you I love so much, but I got to scoop it around like it's ice cream because I'm almost out of it. And then I put it up here on the top as a brow bone highlight. And then um, I'm going to do my wing liner, but here's the kicker. I did a video on my Instagram up close and personal of how I do my wing liner. So check that out on my Instagram. I think I put it here in my stories too. Thank you some wipes and clean up on our seven. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, we're gonna clean it up because we do not want it to look like we got socked in the eye. Um, people always ask me about this, but this is the Makeup Forever HD, Ultra HD. It is a concealer. I use it as a corrector. It is in the shade 51. This neutralizes out all of the dark spots that I have. I have hyper... <laughs> I have a hyperpigmentation around my mouth. That's what I focus on. So under my eyes, I have dark circles and then I have dark spots on my face as well. And that's what I do with the, um, the corrector. I just neutralize those areas. I am extremely impressed by this one size line. Um, so much that I have been using this a lot. The Turn Up The Base BBB Cream, which stands for Beauty Blur Balm Cream. Um, it's by Patrick Star as well. Shout out to y'all that was like, you know, you can just squeeze it. You don't have to take the top off. Shout out to y'all for helping a sister out because I didn't even notice that. I legit didn't. You can literally squeeze the top and then get it out of there like I just did or you can unscrew it, but no need to unscrew it like I did. This is Dark One Neutral. It's something about it. Something about the finger, girl. It's something about me applying my foundation with my finger. I just, I don't know because I could get it real precise. I just don't like to squeeze the tube out on my face. And the trick part about it is when I teach people how to do it they end up doing this too i don't know it's not a must it's just it's just what i do please don't tell me that you are someone that does eyeshadow and does not do foundation do you see how that just stepped this look up like 100 percent okay it just made it it made that eyeshadow pop even girl let me tell you something no i ain't gotta tell you because i can show you better than i could tell you despise not <laughs> despise not using foundation <laughs> one thing I absolutely love about his concealer or this one size is that I do not have to like with my Too Faced I usually let it sit for a minute so that it could get a little bit um I don't want to I guess the word is tack, tacky so it dries down a little bit so it moves where I want it to go and it's not and it kind of sits there at the same time like I'm able to blend it but it kind of I don't know how to explain it but the movement is so much better and the coverage is so much better to me I use two powders. I go on first with the Graftobian. It's not on here, it's on the top. I go on first with the Graftobian powder and I just kinda put a little bit right there and then I go under my eye one time, one time, two times, blend that. And then I go for the reinforcement with the Sasha Buttercup. Like it's a, it's a one size day. It's a one size day. I'm gonna go into the one size powder. This one is in dark two neutral. You guys know I originally, you gotta watch my video on what I did when I first did this video. I had the wrong color. Yes, come on through baby. I'm gonna come back when it's all done and show you the final look after I set it and do all that kind of stuff, I'll come back. But I am gonna show you how I contour. Um, I do use the Juvia's Place. Uh, I, well, I kind of toggle between this one and the um the Fenty one. This is the Juvia's Place Bronze Dark Palette, girl. And you get two shades and I go into the deeper one. I wish they had one where it wasn't so red, but I don't go heavy on my cheeks because I don't need to chisel them too much because they already like chiseled, you know what I mean? So just a little bit, just a little bit, boom, boom. And then the rest of this, I am going to uh, put my blush and highlighter and all that stuff on off camera and then I'm gonna come back and show you the final look, okay? Can't have it looking like that, looking crazy. Hey, <laughs> yes, so I'm back, okay? This is the final look and I love the way it turned out. Tiki Cosmetics on the lips, let me tell y'all real quick. This is the MAC Chestnut Liner. You better have that in your collection because it's definitely a must. I have on Confidence by Tiki Cosmetics. I also have on Just Being Me, which is like our top seller. I didn't think it was gonna be a lip gloss, but it definitely is. It's the summertime. This is, I mean, not that I wait for the summertime to do looks like this. This is an excuse you need to rock a pop color look go forth 
go forth. <laughs> go forth, sis. So you guys have an awesome, blessed day. Don't forget to join the fam bam, and I will see you soon. Tiki, Bye. confidence is key. You know what I mean. Uh -huh. A woman feels good when she's looking pretty. Yeah.